Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and today we're working on some vegetable studies again using a uh, pen and ink again. Um, and it's in this little cheap, uh, you know, artist loft sketchbook that I had sitting over at my desk. I decided let's try this out today. So this is very inexpensive, and I show you how I do this tutorial on a very inexpensive piece of paper. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you're a Patreon member, you could download the traceable that goes with this, but I show you guys how to draw this also. Um, if you're not a Patreon member, it's we're a place where I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive content for Patreon members. I have exclusive tutorials on Thursdays. And uh, coming up soon, I'll have a um, live stream once a month kind of thing going on in top tier. So uh, just check it out up here. Boop. And uh, yeah, it's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, anyway, uh, and also please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when tutorials up. So without further ado, let's get painting some veggies. Okay, so for this exercise, I decided to show you like this new sketchbook I have. It's really cheap. I got it from um, Michael's store. It's the Artist Loft brand that they have. Uh, it's 140 pound, you know, there's a nice binder to it. It's really thick so you can move the pages easily. I, uh, if you're a Patreon member, like I said, you can download the traceable that I have. If not, I'm just showing you how I can draw it. Um, I have the radishes. You're just kind of making this a blonde shape and then your little squiggle down here. Another one here, and then you're gonna pull up and just make a little um, leaf. See that? Like a little line, a little leaf. These are just guides, and so for the asparagus, we just have these these cylinder kind of lines going down here, and then for the tips of them, just like these little bumps on the hill. <laughs> See, kind of going in it. If you want to go draw like a the rounded tip, and then just go in from there, and draw the little rounded tops. So you got to draw the rounded tip. See like this, and then you go in and draw these little bumps. That would help you make the asparagus. Um, try not to see mine look too um, symmetrical. You want them kind of varied going up and down. You don't want them looking too symmetrical. And they can kind of bend a little bit. You know, if you see them in the stores, they're kind of bendy. I'll have one down here. I don't want it to look exactly symmetrical. Then I just did like a little tie with a ribbon here and then so for the uh, press is it put no turnip um uh, just like a cylinder excuse me a circle and do a little wiggle coming down here and then we're just going to do some simple leaves coming up here just like that uh, same thing with the onion again you just do a circle then you have this like cylinder coming up here rectangle and then just gonna little, they're gonna have little little strings kind of wiggling down, and then the lines would be like this. But we'll do that with the ink for the Ruta Baker. It's like this wiggle leaf, right? It's wider on the bottom here, and they're gonna go skinnier inside, and have the leaf veins like that. Then you have the little Ruta Baker down here, just these two kind of curved cylinder kind of like lines and then for the artichoke um there are all those little leaves that are pointy on top so here's the stem and do a little branch coming off that and you do this curve and the curve and a little kind of point right curve and a point they have like little points because they have little spikes so you're curving in point and then just doing a bunch of those so once you have all this drawn out on your little sketchbook See? Just like that. Now I might fix my uh, artichoke. It looks a little too goofy. See those leaves? I just recently ate some artichokes. I love artichokes. Just like that. If you can see that well. Okay, so now we have everything drawn in with the pencil so you could see it. Uh, I'm going to erase it actually <laughs> with my uh, gum eraser here. It's like gum. It's sticky. So I can see it, but I don't want to see all the pencil lines because we're going to do like the ink technique, pen and ink technique. Now, 
you could use a Sharpie pen. I've used this in some of my tutorials. Okay, I'm, going back um, I'm going to be doing the Technique where I paint it and then go back in with the, the fountain pen ink and just a little fountain pen nib here. This little guy. I got this at a cheap, I think I got it for free actually. I think my husband's father had given it to him, a set of calligraphy pens. So I can't tell you where I've gotten this, but you can find things like this anywhere pretty cheap. I think I put some links on my uh, channel here and they'll be in the description box. Okay, so now we're gonna go and just paint it. Mostly these things are mostly green. I mean, the onion will have a little brown, um, brown and green. This is like a little pink radish, you know, and then the uh, turnip will have a little purpley pink here. And then the, the artichoke will have a mixture of the green and pink. So I'm gonna be using my Princeton 8 um, long round. If we have to go into uh, a different smaller one, I would use the four, but I think I just do everything on the Princeton 8. And I, I will be doing the ink uh, also. So if you don't have, I'm going to be using the fountain ink and then uh, the nib that goes with it with calligraphy nib. If you don't have that, you can just do your Sharpie pen. Um, like I showed you before, you can just draw with the Sharpie pen. This one's kind of like dull right now. You know, and then then paint. You don't have to paint um, afterwards. I'm going to be doing it where I paint it and then use it afterwards. So I'll show you what I do. I have a lot of tutorials on the, the uh, ink and wash. So we're going to just work with the paint first. <laughs> um, let's do the green, mostly green. So I'm going to grab my Academy Yellow Deep. I mix up some greens, medium bright greens, peacock blue, make a nice bright green, a little yellow. And this is not the greatest paper for like wet on wet. We're just doing it's a sketch, so it doesn't have to be perfect. My paper towel close by. I always tap it on there. So I'm just going to wash in the simple color of the um, asparagus. See, it's a sketch. I'm just going to loosely wash this in. This kind of uh, sketchbook is not going to be perfect for wet on wet. So you're going to see how I do this on a very cheap sketchbook. And I'm just kind of like loosely painting in the tops. See that? I'm just kind of tapping it in. Give me a really loose sketch look to it. Just using the top tip of my brush. So you can just kind of tapping it around and see how that color is just going to like land there. And because it's a cheaper paper, you'll see how it starts to make the hard edges. You're not going to get that wet on wet technique that we talk about often when I use my nice paper. This is why you practice on this little guy. Sometimes this kind of look is really fun though. I like I like that. So I'm going to do mostly get a lot of the greens in here. I'm going to actually mix up some more paint here. Get some more paint mixed up. A lot of green. Okay. And then with this green that I already have mixed in, I could just put some over here and grab some Prussian blue and make it even darker. Grab some more yellow and Prussian blue. Let's see? You can add a little of this bright umber to it. Get that loosely painted too. Okay, so now I've got some greens going. So you can take some of that darker green, just kind of bleed in on the edges here. Not too much, because I want to keep it mostly bright. Just kind of on the edge where they're kind of touching each other. A little bit darker. The artichoke, I'm going to mix up some magenta, with the Prussian blue. A purple pinky kind of color. Get that ready to go. So for the artichoke, I'll just go in and do some of this pretty green. It's a little too bright. Go and add some darker green. Remember, it's a sketch. It's not supposed to be perfect. Right? I'm going to take some of this purple and put it in the bottom here and then bleed in some green. 
might get a little brown and muddy. Go back and add that dark green. Because like I said, it's not going to be perfect on the sketchbook because we don't have that beautiful arch paper. So I'm just loosely painting in the artichoke. I'm leaving the white spaces in between where you saw those little uh, the folds of the, the leaves. Okay. And we should take, take some, just bleh, can't speak, take the same greens, mix them up, and just do the leaves of the radish. This is just really simple. See, just kind of loosely painting them, and then same thing with the turnip. Maybe add a little more blue. Brighten it up. Change it up a little bit. Yeah, let's make it more fun. It doesn't have to be perfectly perfect green color. Just doing like a little sketch here. I like that look. Um, for this rutabaga, obviously going to be like that pinky red. So I try to get this purple in here a little bit with the artichoke, but because it's this paper, it's not lending itself to do what I want it to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of purple to the tip in some areas. <laughs> That's why I do in real time to show you how I can make mistakes all the time. Okay, the onion. Just basically grab some of that. Get this green off here. Burnt umber. Water to stone. A little yellow over here. Here we go. Clean up my brush. And I add a little yellow to the burnt number. I'm just going to go in, grab a little more burnt number, and we're going to paint it loose like this, leaving some white. See with the tip, loose. I'm going to get. I'm going to grab some of this black I have here. I want it darker on the bottom. See that. A little darker. And I'll grab the light color. Let it bleed a little bit. Grab the dark brown. And we'll do that little squiggle. The onion. And then the top I'll add some green to it. Remember, it's a little sketch. Supposed to have fun. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll lift up some of that dark color. Grab a little black. See, the wet on wet in this thing is not going to work the same in the other paper. Uh, for the radish, I'm going to mix up some pretty. Get rid of the purple here. I've got my magenta. Just Billy kind of looks like this. I'll add a little bit of yellow. Just a touch. I want it really bright. Okay. Got that color. Water it down a bit. Tap it on my paper towel, and then I'm just going to go in and paint this. I'm going to leave a little white halo kind of here. And then it should be a little white on the bottom. See, I'm loosely painting. Clean off my brush. And I'll just grab some of that paint and just kind of wiggle it in the bottom. Just really loose. See that? Just like that. Now that we have this color, I add a little pick up. I'm sorry. Um, can't think today. We have the same pinky kind of color. I added a little Prussian blue to it and made it too purple. I'm going to go back and grab my magenta. I might add a little peacock. Yeah, a little purpley for the turnip. 
So I'm just going to loosely paint this in here. This is a mixture of like pinky kind of color and like a yellowy color. But it's a little purple pinky. Listen, I'm going outside the lines now. Look at that. I'm just going to make these little lines like this. Right? Water this down a little bit. Grab some of that yellow brown. Water this down. Add a little bit. To that. And then we've got the um, rutabaker. That's more of like a red tone. So we've got the magenta here. I'll add more yellow. Make it red. It's like a pinky red. Grab the more magenta. There we go. Trying to get that pinky red. There we go. So you're going to paint that Lucy here and then the veins, like I said, really goes fast. And then the little ones that are kind of broken off down here in the bottom. Now we we'll paint the red first and then there's going to be a bright green in with the leaf here. We'll have to wait till the red dries and we go in. This got pretty muddy, huh? See what this paper is not so great. Just kind of mush that around. I'm gonna fix my little radish up here. Got a little too dark, uh, light. All right, so we're gonna let that dry and we'll come back and finish that. Okay, now let's dry and go back and over this and put the green in. It should be fairly medium green. Not super light. Like this color, maybe a little bit darker. I'll add some Prussian blue. This green. I'm gonna water it down. All right, a little bit more water. And just kind of paint that green around that stem area. doesn't matter if you're leaving a little white around it. It's a sketch, right? It's like a study in vegetables. And I really just like the sketch sometimes, just painting a pretty little sketch. You don't always have to be professional painting these professional paintings. <laughs> um, I'm going to add a little bit darker Prussian blue here, no brown. Just kind of bleeding in this color a little bit on the edges. It's a little bit darker. Well, not too dark because you want to be able to use the pen and ink and see it. But it is a dark green leaf. So you want it somewhat dark. Okay. Get some bright green in here. At this point, you can tweak some of the things like your, um, my artichoke seems to have lost its way. Go and fix some of the leaves in here. I have a little stem coming off here I didn't put in. I want it a little bit darker. You could add another vegetable or two if you wanted to. I feel like I was like a little kid, some peas or something over here. We did peas in the mini Monday. Okay, so we're gonna just let this guy dry. And then we're gonna come back and use the pen and ink. Or if you want to have like the the uh the tie a color, like a brown. So we can go ahead and do that, paint that in. And then put that little tie. All right, so I'm going to wait this dry, and then we'll just do the, the ink, and then we're done. 
Okay, so I'm grabbing my ink here with my little nib. Now I already drew that one with the, I showed you with this Sharpie pen. I'm going to go back over it. I just love that noise. <laughs> And then we're going to make the little lines like that. See, if I was going to do not do the Sharpie pen, I wouldn't have made it so I wouldn't have drawn it the whole circle like that. I would have kind of like left some inconsistencies with the ink. Whoops. Remember, this is a real tricky with this. So you, you can push down and make it thick and pull up and not make it thick. That's what I like about this. I'm using the nib and then just put in the line for the news. And then you just go in here and you, like I said, you push down to make it, ah, that's a little too thick. <laughs> we go over this all the time that I make mistakes with these nibs. So you don't have to. This is why the paper towel close by is so handy. So it's a little dark. Eh. Imperfections are kind of cool. And we'll just go like this. We'll finish up our leaves. Another choke. You know, this is why I tell people they get all so frustrated. Everyone is not perfect, especially painting. Now, I didn't do this in my other one, but um, you can write like nice w the words of what everything is. You know, with your pen. You know, you can just go right onion. You know, write all the stuff you want to write. Um, turning the book here. Sometimes it's easy to do that. This barrier. So you can write them like, you know, next to the, the items. There we But you don't have to. It's kind of like a cool little study. See? Thick. Wiggle it. And put the line for the um, the leaves in there. I didn't paint the line, so we're using the pen nib here to do that. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness, look at that. See, I made a mistake. That's going to be sad. Ugh. That's going to be a hard one to fix. So let's see if I can fix it. Show you guys. Get some water and my paintbrush. And I kind of go like this. And it is water ink. And remove it. See, I'm getting there. And what I'll do is I'll go back in with my green and I'll paint the asparagus. And it's like it never happened, right? That's what you do. <laughs> you got to get there fast though with the water and, you know, removing it. Kind of like what we do with watercolor, same thing. Um, that got away from me, guys. So basically... Just go in and write words. If you don't want to write words, you don't have to write words. Do what makes you feel good. I don't know what my train of thought was I was saying before because I got distracted by the mess, but I'll have to go back in and fix that very So you just go in here and use this little nib and go through all your little areas. It's just this nice, pretty, sketchy kind of look. Now I'll go back in here and I'll make all the little bumps for the asparagus and the little ones on the side there. Ugh, I did it again, guys. See, these things are really tricky. You're sometimes better off using a pen. That was a big mess. <laughs> ay, yay, ay. But see, I'll go back in and I'll fix it really quick. It's like it never happened. Nobody's gonna know. 
That's why you want to take your time doing that with the nib. So you get what I'm saying here. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to the end. Okay guys, so well, I was going to let it dry. Um, I made a huge mess over here, but I just added some more green. Look at my fingers. They're hilarious. And I said some few choice words when that when I was blow drying to dry it fast. It, the ink went like that. So don't do the blow dryer if you're like me. Wait till it dries. <laughs> Because you'll make a big mistake and you'll be sad. So that's that. This is our little sketch book, pen and ink kind of tutorial. This is great. Get a little sketchbook, play around with it. You're playing around with the wet on wet. I mean, obviously it's not going to be the same, like I said, um, with the this kind of paper, because this kind of paper is not really great for um, wet on wet I'm gonna grab a little I'm making a little more purpley kind of color here just gonna go in here a little bit um, you know because of arch is much better for that but this is just another way to like get yourself in the groove of like thinking of things and um, doing some like fun little sketches and you could do it with fruits, you could do it with vegetables, you could do it with objects. I mean, studying objects, just things around your house. It doesn't have to be anything special. You can do the same technique. You can draw a donut, a cupcake, you know, a butterfly, a bird, anything. It's just something to do um, if you're trying to figure out what to do. Like I said, I'm thinking about gardening right now because we put it in our tomatoes. Um, in the, oh, I didn't put tomatoes in here, but these are spring vegetables. Um, tomatoes summer vegetables so I decided to paint up some spring vegetables so I hope you guys enjoy this little crazy tutorial <laughs> yes I'm a little bit nuts um, if any questions in the comment section and if you're a Patreon member you can download the traceable that goes with this but I pretty much showed you guys how to draw it so uh, and also check out my acrylic channel please uh, it's the amazing art channel I'm trying to get more videos out there and subscribe to that and like that so it gets some, get some views I appreciate it so thank you guys so much and take care and I'll speak to you soon.